it's Micah here. Grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. So last time when you guys tuned in, Adam uh, was teaching us about uh, the mustard seed in the kingdom of heaven and now something that even starts with a very uh, small start uh, can grow into something massive, explosive, and huge whenever it is God that is behind its uh, growth. But today we're going to pick up with a, a really fascinating story that comes just after that. So uh, flip with me to Mark chapter 4, look uh, in verse 35 and following. It says this, That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. We see a mighty power in Jesus in this passage. Even the wind and the waves obey him. Remember when uh, Mark first started his gospel, he wanted to convince us that Jesus was the Son of God, that Jesus is the Son of God. And so he tells this story that sets Jesus in a category apart. Why? Because there were many other attempted miracle workers that have existed throughout history. And one of the things that people often felt like they needed is someone that could bring the rain. Why? Because so many crops and, and agricultural societies desperately need rain to be able to function. They need the rain to be there. And so they would search out their gods and try and get the gods to create rain. But this Jesus, this Jesus is different. Why? Because he has a power unlike any other. He has the power to look the weather down and say, be still. Hmm. It's a mighty Jesus. There's a, there's a psalm that reminds us of the power of God. Um, and a lot of times the psalm is quoted as this... Uh, beautiful moment for us to just have kind of some stillness and focus on uh, Jesus. But I want to read this for us uh, so we see the whole psalm right as we finish our time together. It says, God is our refuge and strength, Psalm 46, and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted on the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is the Jesus whom we serve, the Jesus who has the might and the power to speak to the mightiest forces of nature and say, be still. Take heart. He has overcome the world. Can I pray for us? Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for giving us the one whom we do not deserve, that can fight the mightiest and strongest of battles. Help us to have faith in him, to know that he is the conquering king, and that he can cry out, be still. 
It's in the name of Jesus we have this opportunity to lift our voices and pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Catch you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell.